<laughs> the happy sounds of childhood. A brother's giggle. A mother's loving coo. Or the joy of your own calls of contentment. Very happy. She loves her daddy. Baby Ada can't hear any of it. She was born deaf. When you first hear it, you kind of say, that's not true. Or what can we do to help it? Ada's mom and dad, Melinda and Matt Little, took her to Mayo Clinic, where a team of experts diagnosed Ada with a rare genetic condition. Ada has a condition called Wardenburg syndrome. Geneticist Dr. Lisa Scamenti says Wardenburg syndrome is a collection of symptoms caused by a change in a gene. If you went and Googled this disorder, you'll see pictures of people who may have a, a white streak of hair or they may have one blue eye and one brown eye. Well, this is the fish lab. Some of the tools Dr. Scamenti uses to learn about deafness similar to Ada's are tanks full of zebrafish. We share 70% of our genome with zebrafish and uh, the same genes that cause conditions in us cause the same condition in fish. But unlike these fish, Ada may benefit from technology to help her hear. Cochlear implant surgery and cochlear implant technology has evolved very significantly over the last several decades. Surgeon Dr. Matthew Carlson is also on Ada's care team. There's a lot of different changes that happen in the inner ear that that result in this hearing loss, but the end result is loss of inner ear hair cells for almost all these different conditions. Here are the basics on how hearing works. The outer ear collects sound, which travels down the ear canal to the eardrum. The sound waves cause the eardrum and middle ear bones to vibrate. The sound waves then move into the inner ear, or cochlea, where tiny hair cells turn them into electrical signals that are transmitted to the brain. A cochlear implant bypasses the missing hair cells. Baby Ada, like all patients who get cochlear implants, went through two steps. First was surgery. Through a small incision, Dr. Carlson and his team slip a small group of electrodes or wires that are all kind of bundled together, and they follow the natural curvature of the cochlea. And the electrodes are connected to a device that's underneath the skin and the scalp. The device sends a tiny current via the electrodes to the cochlea and then to the brain. To activate it, they'll just have the, the outer piece attach and then it's just like a basically, from what I understand, like a Bluetooth headset pretty much. Cochlear implants work for most people who have them, but there's always the chance they won't. Ada's brother, parents, grandparents, and cousins were all there the day audiologists at Mayo Clinic attached the outside piece behind Ada's ear and turned it on for the first time. Hi, beautiful. Can you hear me? It's Daddy. Hi. Hi. Hi, Ada. Hi, Ada. Hi, big girl. Hello. To people in that room, Hi. witnessing Ada Hi. here for the first time was to witness Hello. a miracle. For me, it's what brings me to work every day. Just be able to hear, <laughs> uh, hear the sounds around her. That's, that's what I'm looking forward to. For Ada to be able to hear the happy sounds of childhood. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.